Autophagy is literally a self-eating catabolic process which is evolutionary conserved. Autophagy is implicated in development and aging, infection and immunity, as well as a number of human diseases. The recent awareness of the widespread role of autophagy in human disease has stimulated a significant increase in the research into autophagy. There are multiple types of autophagy which fall into two classes, non-selective and selective. The best studied type is macroautophagy, a non-selective process which responds to nutrient deprivation and is essential for survival. Autophagy starts with the formation of a phagophore membrane. The phagophore membrane grows, sequesters cytosolic proteins, membranes, and organelles, becoming a double membrane autophagosome. This autophagosome goes on to fuse with endosomes and lysosomes, thus delivering the sequestered material for degradation. There are four steps in the autophagy pathway. The first two steps, nucleation and membrane expansion, are mediated by 18 proteins, called ATG proteins, required for autophagy in all organisms. These two steps are followed by fusion of the autophagosome with the endocytic pathway and degradation of the content. The type of autophagy, which is the focus today, is a selective one called mitophagy. Mitophagy uses all the molecules found in non-selective macroautophagy plus specialized adapter proteins. Mitophagy occurs when mitochondria are selectively removed from autophagosomes. This process is involved in development neurodegeneration. At a molecular level, we understand most about mitophagy as it occurs in development and neurodegeneration. During development, that is the formation of erythrocytes, mitochondria must be removed from the reticulocyte and this occurs by mitophagy. NIX, or BNIP3L, an outer mitochondrial membrane protein, is a selective adapter protein which contains a linear motif, the Lear motif, which binds to LC3. LC3 is bound to the membrane of the autophagosome and acts as receptors for proteins carrying this linear Lear motif. Signals are being identified which may control the binding of NIX to LC3. Following binding of NIX to LC3, the targeted mitochondria are sequestered inside the autophagosome and sent for degradation. Lastly, a second role of mitophagy involves the removal of damaged, depolarized mitochondria. This process depends on two proteins, PINK1, an outer mitochondrial membrane protein, and PARKIN, an E3 ligase which ubiquinates so far unidentified proteins on mitochondria. These ubiquinated mitochondria are then targeted to the autophagosome and degraded. Mutations in PINK and PARKIN are linked to forms of Parkinson's disease. Thus, a greater understanding of mitophagy has the potential to increase our knowledge about the cause of the disease and bring us closer to effective treatments.